Good morning, Heather Bell here, mom to eight kids, and I'm going to be having you join me on my weekly breakfast prep where I'm going to be making loaded omelet biscuits for my kids. My daughter Haley said that I had to get my Christmas hat on to make the breakfast for the week. So I have four pounds of ground pork in my pan. I have one pound of bacon. So I'm actually gonna cut the bacon into here. We're gonna cook it. I'm gonna ground up the hamburger, the pork because we're gonna sprinkle it into the eggs. So I'm gonna get it cut in, cook it, and then we're gonna move on to, I think after I get this done, I'm actually gonna do the biscuits next. So first thing up is the pork. So all I do is I just cut it in half. If you don't have a pair of kitchen scissors, you have to get some because I cut everything with my scissors. Bacon, you name it. So we're gonna cut this in here, cook this together. And then once it's done, we're gonna set it aside because next up is gonna be biscuits and then the eggs. All right, I love bacon so much. My kids have really been loving these um, weekly breakfast preps that I've been doing for them. The first one was the English muffins with sausage, egg, and cheese. And so now this week, it is the, um, the loaded omelet biscuits. I got the hamburger, or the, the sauce. So I cannot talk today. I got the sausage and bacon done, and so now I open up my biscuits, and I'm gonna cook the biscuits first before we do the eggs, because the eggs really don't take that long to cook. But if you would like to make a homemade biscuit, instead of buying them. I actually, in the comments, will put my homemade biscuit recipe. I have two, I have a buttermilk one and then like a regular one for biscuits and gravy. So I'll put that in the comment um, if you don't wanna buy the store-bought ones. But just for time purposes, I got them. Um, I have eight times six, I have 48 biscuits. They were on sale for like two for five. Um, so really, when I make these sandwiches, I think it ends up being like a less than a dollar a dozen or a dollar a, um, a sandwich for my kids. And in McDonald's, what are they, like $3, three and a half, four dollars So I got that cooking. I wanna do that until the bacon is nice and crispy, the, the sausage is done, and now we're gonna get the biscuits taken care of. I'm gonna put them on here kinda of close too because I wanna get as many as I can on because I need my other pans for my um, egg mixture that I'm gonna put on. All right, there we go. Yeah, my kids are just so busy that they just don't have time to make breakfast in the morning and they get up so early and I'm just really not an early girl. Um, I get up with my husband around, I don't know, 6.30, 7 o'clock, but by then the kids are out the door. I mean, they're already on their way to school. So it, you know, I just, I'm just not a super early girl. <laughs> I just is what it is. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna need three pans. I'll just have to clean them up before I do my eggs. But I want to get these done because I can just put them to the side while I'm waiting for the eggs to get done. And they nuke them anyway, so it's okay to kind of have them sitting around. All right, I'm going to throw two of them in now. There we go. And then looks like I might need four pans of biscuits. And then if they don't use up all the biscuits, um, it's okay because we love biscuits. Biscuit and jam, biscuit with butter. So it's okay. I did have to do four pans of biscuits. So I have those cooking. My sausage is doing really well, sausage and bacon mixed. Cause I'm gonna sprinkle this through the eggs with some salt and pepper and some cheese. All right, we're gonna keep cooking on that. And then I have cheese here. Um, this is called Pickening Cheese. And so in Michigan, there's a place called Pickening and they're famous for their cheese. We went to four different cheese um, shops, which you probably have already seen that. And um, we just got so many cool cheeses. And like I said in that video that you've probably already seen, is these are just like the leftovers. So it's actually two pieces. And so it's the ends when they were making the blocks and then the cheese curds and things like that. This is kind of the leftovers. And so I ended up getting it for $2.59 a pound I got smoked Swiss, I got Gouda, I got, um, I smoke, I've actually never really seen smoked Swiss. I also got um, sharp cheddar. My husband picked up a cheddar that was really old. He wanted to try like 12 We're also gonna be taking our first photo shoots for our cookbook. Um, these photo shoots that were taken are actually gonna be photos that when we present the outline of the cookbook, it's gonna have our pictures in it. So this is what the publishers are gonna be doing. 
So I'm super excited about that. So this cheese, I'm just gonna cut it um, into smaller chunks and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually put it throughout the eggs, like I'm gonna do the sausage and um, the bacon and then I'll add some salt and pepper. So then it's kind of the same concept as like if you've ever had an omelet, a loaded omelet biscuit at Hardee's, it's kind of the same concept where it has everything in the eggs and you just cook it together. So then when my pan's done, I'll just slice them like really long and thin and then I'll fold them in half and stick them on the biscuits. So I'm praying that my biscuits like poof up and they're not like super small and like flat, you know what I'm saying? So I'm praying that, um, I, I don't know. I, I don't really do, I don't really buy a lot of biscuits because I make my own biscuits. And all my kids, I try and have breakfast for them um, like Monday through Saturday. And if they don't eat it, then they usually have it like on Sunday. So I try and at least get um, a week's worth of meals or breakfast meals, you know, even for my husband, he really likes breakfast. And so that's like, you know, nine people times seven, that's 56 sandwiches. And I know sometimes they don't always grab them, so it actually works out okay. Or maybe me and my husband will go for you know, breakfast. Next week I'm actually making, um, I think I'm gonna make cinnamon roll, um, bacon, egg and cheese, cinnamon rolls. That was per Haley, she was asking for that. The kids have been giving me some ideas on things to do. I actually have a really, really good cinnamon roll recipe from scratch that I got from my mother-in-law and I've tweaked it a little bit. It's super yummy. But even though I've tweaked it, like I still can't get hers like mine. I mean, she she is the queen of cinnamon rolls, absolute queen. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna dice this up. I'm very excited. This, so this piccanine cheese, it's made in picone, pic, piccone, piccanine, P-I-C-O-N-N-I-N-G. And um, it kind of tastes like a cheddar slash American cheese. It's pretty good. It, it's kind of like a dry cheese. I don't know if that makes any sense that it's dry. Like it's, I think more of like a sharp cheddar kind of texture, but it's super yummy. I'm super impressed with it. I want to get way more cheese when we went to that store. My husband's like, I think you have a lot. I said, yeah, but I can freeze it. He says, you can't freeze sharp cheeses because when you go to eat it, it just crumbles. I'm like, fine. But yeah, no, this cheese is absolutely wonderful. Oh my goodness. My cheese is all cut. The biscuits are almost done. And then I have my bacon and sausage here that's almost done also. I just wanna crisp up the bacon a little bit. So I figured it out like how much it would be to make all these sandwiches. And I even, even though my eggs are free, we sell them for 350, so I wanted to make sure that I added that in. And so it's about $47 to make, I have, 64 sandwiches, um, rolls, biscuits. I cannot talk today. So it's about, I'm gonna say like with tax, $50. So it's $50 to make breakfast for 10 people for the, the week, during the week. And because that would be um, 10 times five is 50 sandwiches, I have 64, so give or take. So it's gonna cost me $50 to make around 60 sandwiches, which is like 85 cents a sandwich. So 85 cents a sandwich per person for the week, for every day for the week. So it's, you know, it's divided by eight times five. So it's about $4 and what, $4 and 60 cents, $4 and 80 cents to feed each of my children for five breakfasts. And McDonald's is for something a sandwich because I just got one when we went downstate to go to Frankenmuth and get all my cheese and my coffee and my sandwich was literally $10. My coffee was like $3 craziness. So I think 84 cents a piece per sandwich is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Biscuits are done. Now it's time to get the eggs going. I'm gonna spray my pan. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need three pans. All right, and now I'm gonna dump the eggs in. I've already scrambled them. Um, so I have three dozen eggs that I've scrambled. And I did add a little bit of whipping cream because I want these to be a little fluffier because everything's gonna be inside of it. So when they get done cooking, I wanna make sure that they're kind of fluffy. If I have to add a little bit more eggs, I definitely will. But I am going to be adding stuff to them. So it is going to fill. Oh, that's perfect. These are 18 by 26 pans. Let's just make sure we get all of that.
There we go. I'm just gonna salt and pepper them, and they bake really fast. Once you, I got the oven at 350, and they bake really, really fast, like maybe 10 minutes. My sausage is cooked, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, I'm not getting enough here. Hopefully I don't go, oh, so let me put a little bit of coarse pepper in my pepper shakers. Nothing like a lot of pepper in your eggs, hey? All right, ooh, that pepper is strong. My biscuits came out, actually, let's not do that. My biscuits came out good. Some of them are a little flat, but I'll make sure to do the puppy ones first. Okay, now I'm gonna sprinkle the cheese throughout it and then the meat. I don't know if I'm gonna need all this cheese. It's four cups of cheese. You wanna do like a cheddar because you want the flavor to stand out. So I do like a cheddar, Colby Jack maybe, maybe a pepper jack would be really good. That'd actually be really good. And see how the eggs are starting to rise a little bit because I'm putting things in them. Make sure you grease it or you'll never get these eggs out, trust me. I've already done this lots. Good. If you want to add your sausage and bacon separately, you can do that too. Or just cut corners and do it together. And just sprinkle it throughout the pan. Oh yeah, these are gonna be yummy. I might keep some of this maybe to uh, have in the morning, like when me and my husband have breakfast when we have our eggs. So you're just gonna continue doing this throughout the pan. That's why it's called a loaded omelet biscuit, because I want it loaded. Bake them at 350 for about maybe seven to eight minutes. I'm gonna watch it, but they already look amazing. So my plan was to cut them in strips and fold them, but I got a lot in here. So I think if it rises like I think, I think I can just do squares. So we'll see. I want there to be a lot in there. I want there to be more protein than biscuit. All right, time to get them in the oven. See if I can do this without spilling. Oh yeah. Mm. I am super excited about this recipe. Really, really excited. Yummy. Now we gotta get these biscuits all lined up. I'm gonna get my parchment paper out and then next up I'm gonna be getting these biscuits together. All right, the uh, loaded omelets turned out great. There's the biscuits. Um, there was a little bit of grease on top because of the bacon and sausage. I just drained that off. Um, it wasn't anything like maybe an eighth of a cup. So I'm just letting them set for a little bit and I'm gonna cut them into squares and then start constructing them into my biscuits and then getting them all wrapped up and given to my kids at our rental, Brennan and Robert, our house, and then Haley's house. I've already done one of my pans. And so what I did was I cut it into long rectangular shaped ones. And I noticed some of these are thicker than others. So the ones that are thick, um, I'm folding them over, but if they're really super thick, I'm actually dividing them in half and doing two. So you just put it, look at that, isn't that amazing? You just put on your parchment paper. What's great about parchment paper is that you can microwave it. So you just fold these really nice and then tuck the bottoms under. And look at that, breakfast sandwich for 85 cents. And I tried to get the ones that were a little thicker. I think if I'd have maybe done thinner strips, it might work. So you just fold it over, put the top on. There we go. And then just take your paper and fold it. Wax paper won't work, it's different than parchment paper. Look at, I mean, how cute is that? Adorable. I love it, it kind of makes me hungry. I kind of want to have one already, but I know they're for breakfast. Look at that. There's a mouthful right there, hey? So just take it, and I have um, a tool that you put your parchment paper in and you slide it over. See, look at this and then like you slide it over and it slices it for you nice. I don't know why I didn't do that on the first one. The first one, kind of a mess, my paper. Okay, and you just tuck it under. 
And then they just stick it in the microwave and breakfast is ready. My loaded omelet biscuits are all ready to go to my kids, 85 cents a piece. They turned out great. I had to have a little bit of the egg and I'm telling you, it's absolutely amazing, but super easy, super fast. If you like to meal prep like I do on Sunday, Monday, you know, this is a good thing and then they can eat it, you know, until the weekend. Um, but I'm finding that with a big family and meal prepping, is kind of the way to go to just to try and, and that's why I usually do my weekly menu every week is so we, my kids come in, they'll see what's on the menu. Um, they'll know what to expect throughout the week. And then they look forward now to this. So this is my, um, almost my fourth week making these breakfast sandwiches and it really didn't take any time at all. I mean, it really didn't, but I will post my homemade, um, from scratch biscuits. If you'd like to do real biscuits instead, you're probably not going to have to make this many, um, but they turned out absolutely great. So thank you for joining me on this weekly meal prep for breakfast for this mom of eight. Make sure to subscribe to Just the Bells 10.